the, uh, the open uh, se uh, session of the 65th SEF uh, panel uh, plenary meeting has been uh, quite successful. Uh, we had a considerable number of observers uh, representing uh, a number of companies having uh, interest in the uh, activity of the panel. And uh, we also had an agenda that was uh, uh, very informative for those observers. We started with a presentation that was offered by uh, colleagues from the unit on uh, the methodology for the evaluation of food flavorings. And then, uh, uh, as a follow-up of this presentation, we discussed uh, two uh, main points. The first one was dealing with the group of flavorings uh, uh, coded as FG216 uh, revision 2. And our discussion on this group of uh, flavorings indicated the presence of uh, the emergence, recent emergence, of uh, some toxicity, cons genotoxicity considerations that uh, convinced the panel uh, to go back to the working group or uh, preparing additional data requests for uh, comp to companies. Whereas the discussion on the other flavoring groups, this was the uh, uh, FG63 revision 3, uh, was very smooth and uh, the safety of these flavorings was accepted uh, with no uh, problems by the, by the panel and therefore the opinion was adopted, the positive opinion was adopted. In order to um, help uh, observers to understand, uh, better understand the way of working of EFSA, uh, also in uh, areas uh, other than the flavorings. Uh, we had a series of presentations of, by all the chairs of working groups uh, of the SEF panel. So we had a presentation uh, uh, in addition to flavorings, also on food contact materials, on enzymes, on BPA and on uh, genotoxic issues relevant for, for the panel. 